All right, so starting it all off, I have got this MSI Pro. It's that time again! Yes, dear viewers, time for another budget build. Here is the gorgeous completed build featuring a 3050 graphics card and a 12400 F CPU. And if you want to see how we made this boy, then you got to stick around. So starting all off, I've got this MSI Pro B660MA motherboard. This is a sick motherboard supporting Intel 12th gen CPUs and it does come with Wi-Fi. So we're going to open this boy up. <gasps> oh, oh, he's quite pretty. Ooh, 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 MSI. Oh, f doodles, sorry. It's a pretty boy. That's real nice. So for our CPU, you may have guessed already from the motherboard, but we're going Intel. This is an Intel Core i5 at 12400F. So for this budget build, our goal is really for 1080p gaming. We wanted to go with a good bang for buck CPU to help support this goal. And for the performance increase and such a great price, this is seriously a hard CPU to pass up for our budget build today. <gasps> He's even sealed. Oh, I need a knife. That's my knife spin. <laughs> All right, so here he is, the Intel Core i5 uh, 12400F. He looks pretty spanky. RAM wise, of course, I've got to tap in 16 gigabytes of our gorgeous Z1 RAM at 3200 megahertz. We love our Z1 RAM because it provides great low latency gaming performance and some stunning RGB lighting, all for a pretty great price. A fun fact, if you're someone who has never built before and you're wondering which slots to put your RAM sticks into, motherboards often have a little, little, well, a little bit of writing on there that will say like DIM A, DIM 2, and basically it'll often show you which ones to put them in first. So keep an eye for that if you get a bit stuck. For our storage, I'm using this Western Digital 500GB M.2. So we've gone with the 500GB to fit within our budget, and this will allow you to install your OS and a few games or programs pretty easily. But if you do want to play some bigger games like Warzone, perhaps look at getting some additional storage a little down the track. So he just goes in here. Then you're going to want to look for this tiny guy. He will come with your motherboard. So don't fret if you're like, I do not have a screw that is the size of my IQ. Our CPU does come with a stock cooler, but we're actually going to be using one of our Tough Air 310 CPU coolers instead. So the Tough Airs are just so great at moving a lot of air fast. And of course, these newer CPUs do actually get quite hot. So that's why we're going to be tapping out the stock cooler just to give the 12400F the most efficient cooling within our budget still. It is thermal paste time. What thing should we do today, everyone? Should we do a P? Let's pee right on this CPU. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good pee. Ooh, what a pee. Yes. Case time, we've got our V250 Air case. This is a cute little case with some tempered glass windows to show off all your hard work, but we've also considered ventilation as well to help keep temps nice and low. And you can see the Air Edition does have these gorgeous, I uh, like this gorgeous mesh at the front, which does come with also some RGB fans, which you can see through the mesh. So it's still, it's very pretty, it's very cute, and we're gonna use it to build today. That's never happened before, but just know for 8 out of 10 men, very common. <laughs> Moving on to your PSU, we've got our Smart BX1 bronze 450 watt power supply. So this was a tough choice for us. We did spend quite a lot of time picking this power supply. So this is a non-modular power supply and it is also bronze rated. So you do know that it will be decently efficient under load. So we've gone with the 450 watt and it will do you fine. But if you do want to upgrade to something in future, I would recommend grabbing either a 650 or 750 watt would also be good. Just the future proof if you do want to upgrade your CPU or GPU even further in the future. But for now, let's install this guy. And here we are, the part you've all been waiting for, or the part you may have skipped to ahead head to because you just wanted to see the graphics card. 
Our graphics card today, we are going with the ASUS GeForce RTX 3050 Dual OC graphics card. So the 3050 is finally at a more decent price now. It's actually kind of worthwhile getting. And it is fantastic for 1080p gaming. It pairs really well with the 12400F that we're already using as well for the CPU. Um, so let's get him out quickly first. Oh, he looks so pretty. Oh, isn't he adorable? So I will also mention though that we would also recommend the Gigabyte 3050 Eagle uh, as well. So I would just say whichever is cheaper. They kind of alternate between this and the Gigabyte version, the Eagle. So just keep tabs on which one's which, but we've gone with this one and I'm gonna install it. Give you a meat of good old rub. Yeah, <laughs> boy. So there we have it, our early 2022 $1,500 PC build. We will probably do another of these videos later on in the year because let's be honest, prices do be changing. So keep an eye out for that later on in 2022. But thank you so much for watching this video today. If you did enjoy it, of course, remember to please leave us a like and pop any thoughts or questions that you may have about this build or anything else in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel as well if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still around, check out either of the Thimbletech videos that may be floating around me on the screen and we will see you next time.